In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the marks function for your job. So I'm going to right click on my job and go to settings. Down on the left hand side here, I'm going to click on mark. And then up the top, it gives us the options for different types. So we've got type and it says no marks at the moment. I'm going to go into the drop down and we've got trim marks. So if I zoom in, you'll see that this gives us trim marks around the outside of our job. We can also use different types of marks. The next one down is margin marks. This gives us the ability to add a certain amount of margin. So if you were doing banners and you needed a hem space, you could add your hem in here. And then as you'll see, it puts the marks further out around your job. The last one is Photoba cut lines, and these are used for a Photoba cutter. I can remove the marks by pressing no marks. Underneath there I have crop marks and this is for my print and cut alignment. If I check those it will add the circles around my job so that when I cut, when I print it I can put it back in I can cut it. In our mark setting we also have job property labels. If I click on the job property labels I can then add text to the bottom of my job and this will give us information regarding our layout, quality setting, our colour management, file format and it will allow us to, um, to use them later in time. I can also add notes at the bottom as well and add those to my job as well. It's great if you're doing samples for customers. Once I've got everything sorted all I'm going to do is press OK and then it's ready to print.